lovelies good morning good afternoon good evening my name is mary this is youtube best channel where i'll be bringing you the latest updates in nigeria on today's news we have president buhari responsible if corona virus situation gets worse chinese doctors so guys before we go into full details on this news i would love for you to click on the red subscribe button down below and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so whenever i upload new videos you'll be updated moving into the news following the plan by federal government to import chinese doctors to help combat the spread of coronavirus in the country the coalition of united political parties cupp yesterday warned that they would hold president muhammad buhari responsible if the situation gets worse the cupp added that the move by the federal government is unnecessary in bad faith and a direct expression of loss of confidence on Nigerian doctors and other frontline medical health workers who have risked their lives daily despite the huge constraints and inadequacies they face to do a marvelous job of treating patients of the deadly virus with a very good success rate. CUPP in a statement by its spokesman Ikenga Imu Ugochinyere said that rather than import Chinese doctors into the country, the government could have shown support to the Nigerian doctors by providing adequate and sufficient personal protective equipment for them to ensure they are safe while doing their job. Asking the presidency why did the government not work with the Nigerian Medical and Dental Council in line with the provision of the law before coming to the ill-timed decision to import Chinese doctors, the coalition noted that there were reports of doctors and other health workers in the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, University of Iloran Teaching Hospital, University of Ibadan Teaching Hospital, Irua Specialist Teaching Hospital, and the Obafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital to mention, but a few already dangerously exposed to patients who have tested positive for the COVID. 19. The Nigerian Delta and Medical Council Act provides that the council must be made aware and grant approvals before such steps are taken by government to bring in foreign medical doctors into the country to see Nigerian patients. We stand with the Nigerian Medical Association that has rejected this move and indeed all Nigerians should reject the move now. The arrival of Chinese doctors in Italy unfortunately coincided with the spike in the contracting and death rate in that country, which made it to soon be the country with the most deaths. It could be a mere coincidence, but since the spike, what have these Chinese doctors done to improve situations in Italy with the thousands of deaths that have occurred since then? Are the Chinese doctors going to come to help us ramp up our recovery rate? which is very high at the moment, or are they coming to know why we are not dying like chickens, like it is happening in the United States, Spain, Italy, and France? What will be their true mission? Who has run real background checks on these doctors to ascertain their latest intention? The pandemic is still killing people in China. They are still grappling with it. Where were these Chinese doctors when thousands of their citizens died from the virus? Are the agents of the Communist Party on a mission different from what the present? Must the federal government continue with actions that daily mortgages our country the more? Is the time of this coming of the Chinese doctors at this point in time not very suspicious? Will these doctors not infiltrate our system and conduct unknown clinical trials on patients? The unanswered questions are legion. The CUPP expressed concern that everything about the importation or invitation of Chinese doctors by the presidency is totally rejected as it is very dangerous in violation of the laws. A distraction from the good work being done so far and a misplacement of priority capable of turning the table against Nigeria. Government must not at such a time express loss of confidence on its medical workers who are without relevant protection and are grossly underpaid, yet doing marvelously well in a situation which has received international acclaim. The Nigerian Medical Association did not ask for the help, neither are we aware that the Nigerian Center for Disease Control made a request for the Chinese doctors. The Director General of the Nigerian Center for 
disease control did not also claim that he did not get adequate experience from his recent visit to China. If the president has shut out air and land border on time, the Italian and other index cases would not have landed. If the president enforced mandatory 14 days quarantine for all passengers from high-risk countries, the cases of community transmission being currently witnessed now would not be the case. The self-isolation policy employed by the government was weak on serious and lack of concern for the health of Nigerians. The presidency has since run under his bed for fear of contracting the disease. The president loved power and not the responsibility that comes with holding power, the coalition said. The CUPP cautioned the federal government to keep the Chinese doctors away from the country and support the health workers with equipment, test kits, contact tracing logistics and sustainable hunger fighting palliative and not to share to a few joke called social intervention palliative by the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. Let the world hear us clearly. Nigerians do not need the Chinese doctor's physical presence. There are technological means like teleconferencing, Skype and other types of video calls in use in the medical field where doctors thousands of kilometers away are consulted to review and give expert advice on patients' cases. Nigeria must leverage on such technology at this time. Nigerians will have no option but to hold the president personally responsible if he forces these Chinese doctors on citizens and the situation gets worse or they are messy reports about unapproved action by the doctors. The president is the only head of state in the whole world who has holed up and hidden inside presidential villa since the virus outbreak. He is the only president who is not constantly selling hope and reassurance to citizens, and he is the only president in the world who is not recognizing the near suicidal efforts of their country's health workers to contain this pandemic. What incentives has the president provided for health workers? Has he even said the word thank you to these lifesavers? Has the president called on citizens to appreciate them? Rather, he passes a vote of no confidence on them with an ill-timed, thoughtless and moral dampening move to bring in Chinese doctors. If he wants the Chinese doctors for himself and his family in the villa alike, he has always sought foreign medical treatment. That is his problem. But for Nigerians, we are comfortable with the work of our Nigerian doctors, like we have always been, and we will resist anyone who wants to ridicule their good works, the cops said. The coalition added that the presidency must ensure that when their doctors come for them, they must be compulsorily isolated for the mandatory 14 days to be sure that they will not carry a different strain of the disease into the country. Mr. President, every good thing you touch goes bad. Please leave Nigerian doctors alone to continue their good work, the CUPP warned. So guys, we have come to the end of this news. I would love to add some few comments to it. I am not surprised that our president is making this kind of decision at this kind of crucial time. I don't know the person that is giving him the information he uses to make decisions or what he used to think and make actions. We are suffering seriously and this man is having the intention of inviting chinese doctors who told them that we need chinese doctors we don't need chinese doctors in this country our doctors are well trained we know that it's just that they don't have good equipment because he president buhari failed to do what is right by nigerian citizens if not, we'll not be where we are now. If not, we'll not be even be talking of coronavirus. When he was supposed to close that, he refused to do so because of his daughter. And now he's thinking about which who is even advising this man? Because I believe this man is, is somebody is controlling him. Who is this wicked person that is controlling President Mohammed Buhari? This person has put this this country in in such a position eh, that is only God that can save us. I don't see any election happening in 2023 and if any election happens during 2023 that means say this country this country don't finish as in but, but nothing no hope the worst thing this buhari led government can do to nigerians is to actually bring these chinese people to come to our country to treat us because i don't see what they are doing that is so good in their own country that people are dying. Shebi, they also went to Italy. People are still dying. 
So I don't see the, the necessity of them in this country. We are doing okay. At least people are recovering from the sickness. We will we, we do fine. We will manage. We already have enough problems as it is. We don't need additional people to come and start investigating, using us for clinical trials. No. I'm sure many countries are shocked that we Africans are not dying like chicken. Yes, we are alive. We will survive it. Even if we have bad leaders, we have God in our country. Because we cannot also have bad leaders, bad government, and still have disease that will be killing us. No, now. Nah. At least let us face one. So, guys, that is my opinion on this news. I would love to hear what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.